Hi, my name is Sungmin Kim, and today I'm going to introduce about War and Peace, which is written by Leo Tolstoy. So at first, who is Leo Tolstoy? On his birthday, his birthday is on September 9, 1828. Leo Tolstoy was born in Tula province, which is located in Russia. In the 1860s, he wrote his first great novel, War and Peace. In 1873, Tolstoy set to work on the second of his best-known novel, which is called Anna Karolina. He continued to write fiction throughout the 1880s and 1890s. One of his most successful later works was the death of the Ivan Ilyich. Tolstoy died on November 20, 1910 in Russia. Next is character analysis. So first character I'm going to introduce is Anna. She is a wealthy St. Petersburg Society hostess and matchmaker for the Curane family whose party in 1805 opens the novel. Next character is a man called Pierre. He has a large body, ungainly and socially awkward, illegitimated son of an old Russian grandee. Pierre, un educated abroad, returns to Russia as a misfit. His unexpe unexpected inheritance of a large fortune makes him socially desirable. Pierre is ensnared by the fortune hunting Helene Kuregina, whose eventual deception leaves him depressed and confused, spurring a spiritual odyssey that spans the novel. Pierre eventually marries Natasha Rostova. And the last character I'm gonna introduce is a man named Andrew Volkonsky, the intelligent and also really handsome, disciplined and ambitious son of the retired military commander Prince Volkonsky. Andrew is coldly analytical and resistant to flights of emotion. Lonely after the death of his wife, lies, he falls in love with Natasha but is unable to forgive her momentary passion for Anatoly. Next is summary and background information. So, War and Peace is a novel by the Russian author Leo Tolstoy published serially then in its entirely in 1869. It is regarded as a central work of world literally and one of Tolstoy's finest literary achievements. The novel chronicles the French invasion of Russia and the impact of the Napoleon era on Tsarist society through the so stories of five Russian aristocratic families. Portions of an early version titled The Year 1805 were serialized in the Russian Messenger from 1865 to 1867, then published in its entirely in 1869. Tolstoy said, War and Peace is not a novel, even less it is a poem, and still less a historical chronicle. Large sections, especially the later chapters, are philosophical discussion rather than narrative. Tolstoy also said that the best Russian literature does not conform to standards and hence it hesitated to call War and Peace a novel. Instead, he regarded Anna Karolina as his first true novel. So the last part is a reflection after reading the War and Peace. Tolstoy defined art as that human activity which consists in one person's consciously conveying to others by certain external signs the feelings he or she has experienced and in others being infected by those feelings and also experiencing them 
This is a wonderfully robust definition, especially because it does not impose which types of human activity or external signs qualify. And I was certainly infected by the themes of war and peace. I felt on many occasions that the book was speaking especially to me. Thank you.